Hey guys, back with another video. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that. I've been busy with school. You know, my goal is to like pop a video out at least once a week, uh, minimum once a month, but once. But I'm trying to. It's been really busy really with school. Uh, this video is about uh, what to do uh, when you have a bad week at school. Uh, so the cars don't fall out. It's, fall where you will need to follow them and just stuff you just can't control. Um, uh, so uh, what I mean by a bad week is just like things don't go wrong at home, at, right at uh, school with friends, with relationships, uh, just everything. Uh, this video I'm going to talk about uh, academics where this week is just a bunch of bad news basically. Well, I found out uh, I'm not doing too well in a history class on a paper. Uh, the reason why I think that is because I got a history paper back and I got 75 on it, which is not a bad grade to some people. To, but to me, to, as a history major and as a person who loves writing, who loves history, you know, I take that, you know, take that, take that a bit seriously. You know, I take that as a, oh, as a cause of concern. Look through the paper. I see some grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes. Am I okay? Uh, still haven't seen any big red. Uh, one uh, one page I saw. I'll oh, explain this better. Or oh, what do you mean by this? Okay, you know I understand taking points off. Not that much. And then on the last page, it said you didn't turn in a thesis and <laughs> x amount of points off, which I thought. It's crazy because I know I gave him a thesis, and the reason why I know I gave him a thesis is, uh, is the, just the following. I went to him after class and I said, "Hey, can you help me write a thesis?" Uh, because writing a thesis for certain, th certain there are different types of theses: is explanatory, argumentative, and uh, I forgot the third one, the third main one. But maybe someone else can tell me. Uh, and he says, "Okay, here's a good thesis." I literally write down that thesis, give it to him. He's like, okay, you can write your paper. Which is a very unique thing to me because in upper level history classes, uh, throughout my university career, I've never had a professor told me uh, uh, you can't use this thesis. Uh, never, to I never had to approve a thesis. I had to approve a topic, but not a thesis. Sorry, I'm really dry. I'm not eating food all day. And... So this was really annoying, a thorn in my side because you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a super senior and I know how to write a thesis or not to write a paper, but not to this professor. He said he was he's like I want all the approval. I want you know you just want watching over, just want to give it stamped everything. I felt so oh my god so annoyed. Well, I finally got, got his. I really wrote down the thesis he gave me, gave it back to him, he says, okay, good. Um, and so when he said I didn't give him a thesis, like, I know that's not right. So I, I went to the writing center, they helped me write my paper better, and they helped me form a better thesis, because, um, you know, I'll be honest, the thesis I had on my paper, it wasn't well written, blah, blah, blah. But I had a thesis, it was clearly there. Uh, and, uh, and, Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess you get so a laugh with anger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, then uh, another class I'm not doing too well in is my lab, uh, my my science class. I don't have to take the science class. I just take it because I like science. I had X amount of hours to fill up till 18. I said, let me just fill it up with a science class because I like science. You know. Uh, so it's my. In this lab, I have to write lab reports. I've never written a lab report ever. Never had to, uh, so I'm new to it. You know, wrote my first lab report, didn't do so well. Uh, so I'm gonna go up. Second one, didn't do so well. Third one, didn't do so well. And I'm just like, what the heck, man? I'm gonna do my best here, and it's just like turning out like crap. So I see my lab reports. It's just spelling error. I'm like, okay, fine. But then I just see. You need to explain better, blah, 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 blah. I went to him and was like, man, I don't think I deserve a 
50 on my lab report because of this. I didn't explain it better. It's like, well, uh, do you, and I asked him, do you think this is fair, this grading system? And he says, like, I'm not changing the grade. So he didn't really answer the question. He just straight up told me I'm not changing the grade. Uh, I just, and I was just like, when you, when you talk to those kind of people, man, it's best just to walk away because you're not going to get through to him. Like, this is logic. Like, this is logic, and this is their brain. It's just not It's not going to go through. It's just, you're just wasting your time. So why am I upset? If it's just a grade, why am I upset? Uh, the reason why I'm upset is because I'm applying to certain internships where they see my uh, last year grades, so all my grades, really. And if they see these bad grades, they're like, this kid's an idiot, and we're not going to give him this internship, we're not going to give him any opportunity. You know, he's just, boom. <laughs> and these, and either, I told this one professor, my history professor, hey, man, this this is hurting me with your, your grading system. And he's just like, well, you have to understand I'm trying to be fair to other people. I'm like, I understand you're being fair. You understand you got to take off points. But you got to take off this many points. I know I gave you a thesis. He's like, well, I don't have it. I'm like, well, I saw his eyes. I'm like, well, could it be here in your desk of papers? Like, no, I know where everything is. Just like, you just can't argue with him. You're always wrong. You're not going to get through to him. These kinds of professors. Same thing with TA. He has like things he's the shit because he's a PhD in bio, which he's getting his PhD in bio, which I'm great for him. Really am happy. You know, we need more scientists out there. You don't need to be a jerk about it. And it's just like all my other friends in other same lab sections with different TAs. I literally see their labs like two sentences. There's a hundred, hundred, hundred. It's just, and they're doing great. So I just feel like kind of just so angry because like I just can't control anything. Even though I'm doing my best, professors are forgetting stuff, TAs are jerks. It's nothing. I just feel like such crap, like such negative energy. So, what do I do to get rid of this negative energy? Um, well, you know, burn some incense. I love incense. Uh, uh, drink some snapple juice, do some art, do some reading. Just trying to forget about it. It's just, don't let it bog you down, guys. Because I guarantee you, if you let it bog you down, you're going to do better in other classes. So, but I have all this anger. Like, usually it takes me like maybe half a day to get over it. But, uh, but so, there's that. I'm just really, like, angry. I just can't explain it. So frustrated. Another reason I'm frustrated is because I pride myself in my schooling. I love learning. I love academia. I just love reading books. I love writing. I love learning. Um, I'm babbling now. So yeah, I take it personally because I'm not a C student. I'm not an F student. I'm not a D student. You know, I'm an A B student. You know, I'm not nothing great, nothing superior, nothing bad. But I'm not a C or D student. If you are a C or D student, there's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I just know that I'm giving my best at the whole time. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that I'm doing my best. And that's, at the end of the day, guys, you gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, did I do my best? I'm like, yeah, I did my best. Am I happy with the result? Heck no. No way, no way, no how. I don't see how anyone could be. So what do you do? Just go pick yourself up, dust yourself off, keep going. Another another reason why I'm not happy with these grades is because, you know, my parents ask me, well, how are you doing in school? Blah, blah, blah. Because I know my parents work really hard to put me through school. Uh, they're going to hear these grades and they're just, I know it's going to worry them to death. But they know I'm doing my best, which, which I'm grateful to have parents who are so understanding to, uh, to know that, so they know that I'm doing my best, they know I'm sacrificing a lot for school, they know that I put a lot of work in. Or they're, just, they're just upset that that I'm upset because they know how much schooling means to me. Uh, another reason why I'm upset is because if I don't do well in these classes, I might have to change up my schedule for next semester and these internships are going to see those exact same classes. And it's like, man... This kid's, he's not putting the effort in these classes. Why should we even trust him with this position? And I just wish they would call me. I just so I could explain everything. But if the chances of them calling me 
are just not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna even if I get uh, at the end of the semester, I'm gonna go to my internship advisor and said, "Hey, this is not me. These grades aren't me. You have to know about this, this, and this." And my internship advisor knows this already. She she's amazing. She's so understanding. She says like, "Hey, just do your best." And if they say no, they say no, and it sucks. I understand. But life does. You know, you're not. I've had my heart. I have a. I've had like so much heart and soul into this internship that I want to get into. It's just to be a hell of an opportunity. It really help me in my future. And I really want to do it because I just this internship. I will explain it later in the video. I don't know much about it. Uh, I do know much about it. I just don't want to explain it all and find out I didn't get in. I'd rather just if I get in, I'll let you know more about it. If I don't get in, I'll still let you know more about it. I just rather tell you about it after I find out. The decision. Um, and another reason why I'm upset is because it's gonna hinder graduation day. <laughs> hinder my graduation day, I need more money <laughs> to a student. It's just oh God. so frustrating. So frustrating. You know, I'm getting a lot. Of, I told my friends that like, hey man, you know, you should understand that. You know, there are people in other countries that would kill to have an opportunity like that. I'm like, don't freaking tell me about other people in other countries. I've left the United States, unlike you, I'm not telling my friend, who has never left the United States, or even Texas for that matter. I told him straight to this, don't you ever tell me that, because I know how other people live in other countries. I've seen it from my own eyes. I felt their pain, I felt their sorrow. I see the joy in their eyes when they get the basic needs that like we, we take for granted. So don't tell me that. I got in his face about this. I'm so angry, because he knows I've been to other countries. He knows that. So he doesn't, me and him are not on good terms either because he's like, oh, you're a dig, you know, you just realize it's just grades. And I told him, this is why I'm upset. And I told him that beforehand, and he just still put that whole third world country, the quote, in my face. I just embarrassed him in front of all his friends, in front of our common friends and his own friends. I embarrassed him, got in his face about it. And I didn't yell at him. But I just like being real passive aggressive about it. It's like, you know what? Have you been to other countries? Oh, so you have, you know, just being real, just being, I was being a jerk, to be honest. But I just I wasn't expecting it from this friend because he's, me and him have known each other for so long. I didn't play that card. Mm -hmm, bad move, bad move, man, bad move. Uh, well, hopefully that helps you guys. I know I ranted a lot, but it's important that. You understand that if you're going through a bad week, you're not the only one. So I'll recap, uh, you're not doing too well in school, bad professors, jerk TAs. What do you do? You basically just take it on the chin, move on, do your best. For the next round, ask for help. Um, ask for help if you need it. Don't be ashamed if you need help. Don't be ashamed at all. There are people out there at universities who are there to help students who want help. Uh, example is my freshman year I was having trouble writing a paper with the writing center at my university gave me some tools that have just exponentially increased my writing ability and I just that was just prices information it went beyond the paper but that specific paper it went beyond that paper and beyond other papers it just made me want to write more made me want to do more but yeah, you know so guys don't be a feel ashamed for help hope this video helps you Please uh, give me, leave your comments, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what else you want to know about. Thank you.